Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. American astronaut Richard Harrison Truly, born November 12, 1937 in Fayette, Mississippi, received a degree in aeronautical engineering from Georgia Tech before becoming an aviator in the U.S. Navy. In 1965, Truly was one of eight military astronauts selected for the Manned Orbiting Laboratory, a program announced by President Lyndon Johnson as a space experiment station. In truth, the program was a top secret Cold War manned reconnaissance program. Only after Truly and the others were in the program did they learn of their true mission, they were so-called astro-spies, tasked with gathering data over Soviet targets. In August 1969, Dick truly became an astronaut for NASA. He served in a number of positions until, in 1981, he piloted the Columbia in its second flight. Truly's next space flight was as commander of the Challenger in the first night launch and landing in the shuttle program. In 1983, Truly left NASA to become the first commander of the Naval Space Command, but three weeks after the Challenger disaster, President Ronald Reagan tapped Truly to become NASA's Associate Administrator for Spaceflight to watch over the space shuttle's return to flying status. In May 1989, Truly became the eighth administrator of NASA. After leaving NASA in 1992, Admiral Trudy, Truly served as Vice President and Director of the Georgia Tech Research Institute until 1997. He later served as Director of the Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Laboratory and as Executive Vice President of Midwest Research Institute. Today, he is retired and living in Colorado. I am Julia Wynn, cousin to Dick Truly, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.